Hey guys! Um, I just, well, yesterday evening I got back from uh, New Hampshire and uh, I actually took some pictures, took some videos and all this. I didn't take like too many videos just because I didn't want to be like videotaping all the time. But uh, yeah, I went to New Hampshire and we went to Squam Lake, which is about 10 miles from Plymouth in I believe Holderness, like around Holderness. If uh, any of you have ever been to New Hampshire, been around those areas. But uh, no, we went to Squam Lake and we uh, <coughs> we rode on my dad's friend's boat all around the lake and everything. And it was a lot of fun. Took a lot of really good pictures. Uh, I like I said, I got a couple of videos. I think I got three, but I might only post two. I think. I'm not sure. But, uh, oh no, my necklace is still downstairs. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, now we had a really good time. I actually got a little bit of sun. You can't really tell because I finally figured out the lighting setup and all of that stuff. But I did actually get some sun, especially on my shoulders. They're still a little sunburned. I don't know if you can see, like, it's really still kind of red right here and up here. But, uh, no, but it was, it was a lot of fun, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Um, on the second day, on Sunday morning, it was actually cloudy, and it started raining, and we were like, oh no, are we going to be able to do this? But, uh, then everything cleared up, and then it was sunny and beautiful, and, you know, all this fun stuff. But every once in a while, like, the clouds would come in, and it would kind of start drizzling, and be like, oh no, hide all the technology, no! I had my camera, and my phone, and everybody had their phones and iPads and all this stuff. I was the only one that brought a camera. But uh no it was it was a good time. But anyway, I was at uh <clears throat> I was actually in New Hampshire about I think it was yeah it was four years ago, it was 2012 in the summer of 2012 because my dad was building a uh, or rather he was helping build a wind farm up around that area of New Hampshire. So we ended up staying at my dad's friend's place, which is where we stayed four years ago. So I was able to actually like look around the, the forest that was in that area and go to my old spots and stuff. And I was able to take a lot of pictures of the forests and uh, all that fun stuff. And it was really, 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 really cool to be back there. It was very nostalgic because I have a lot of really good memories from there. And we made so many great friends. And... Uh, it just is a really awesome place full of really awesome memories and I was so excited to be back. And uh, so I have pictures and stuff that I will uh, probably just kind of show intermittently here if I can figure out how to do that. If not, then they'll probably be afterwards. But um, the day before, my sister India, the brunette of the bunch, uh, was actually... Uh, she actually needed to go back to Texas for something to do with, uh, I think it was like college or something like that. But uh, we woke up, or actually on Friday, we uh, took her around and you know we went to a bunch of these little shops and stuff because this was you know her last day here. And uh, that's where I got this awesome shirt. It shows the phases of the moon and it even has Salem down here. And then I got these awesome leggings. They're so soft. And it was so much fun. Uh, they actually, my mom and my, my sister uh, went to get like their, they, they like got their tarot cards read or something. And uh, that was a lot of fun. And we got coffee at this really good coffee shop here in Salem. I can't remember exactly what the name of it is, so I'm not going to say anything just in case I'm wrong. But uh, on the, the, I think they're like, whenever you're walking into the shops, they're on the left side of the shops. And, uh, and they have some really, really good coffee there. I, you know, the first day that we went to that coffee shop, it was just me and my two sisters. And, uh, I figured out exactly what I wanted. And I've, like, I've known my order, like, right off the bat every time we've gone there. Uh, they have really good coffee. They have really good food. They have, you know, it's just a really, really cool place. So we went there, and then we went to this little shop where I got the shirt and the leggings. And we went into like various other shops and we actually we actually went into a uh, like a pop culture store kind of like a comic book store with like other like pop vinyl figurines and things like that and I got this 
I got a Frank and Weenie. I got a Sparky. And then, this is really cool. And then, I got a cat bus from my neighbor Totoro. And he's so cute. But yes, these are these are my two little dudes from the uh, the comic store, pop culture store, whatever you want to call it. But um, so yeah, we had a we had a good time just walking around. We also ate at this awesome like kind of like Korean fusion place. Uh, it's like right before the shops. It's called Bonchon here in Salem, and uh, they have really good food. And I highly recommend the salmon avocado ball. But yes, so, uh, and then we left <coughs> at like 6? No, it was like 5.30 uh, Saturday morning we left for the airport in Boston. And uh, I just took like a quick little video of uh, just like that morning and then like some of the trip to the airport and then of course I took pictures of Boston and of all of that. I don't think I took any pictures of the airport because there were so many people there. And yeah, it's kind of like that privacy thing. But uh, no, it was, it was a lot of fun. We ended up almost getting lost because we couldn't remember, or rather like we didn't see which terminal we were supposed to go to because I think they have five terminals at Boston Logan, Inter Boston Logan International Airport. And uh, it's like A, B, C, D, and an E, I think is, uh, are the, the, the terminals. But uh, you know, we got through, a and everything and instead of just like going from the the main road to the terminal we were supposed to go to uh we ended up having to go through the two terminals that led before terminal c a and b and uh holy there were a lot of people there for five or six o'clock in the morning holy bazongas and i think it was on a saturday morning so i guess it kind of makes sense but still but uh no it was fun but we uh decided because we were gonna meet my dad's friend at her place in i think it's just, like just outside of boston and i think it was like 10 that morning and so we had a few hours to burn so we drove around boston a little bit uh we we uh, drove through cambridge and looked at the harvard campus and all that stuff and uh we went to an ihop and you know we drove around some more and looked at some more stuff and we ended up walking around a, a portion of the Harvard campus in Cambridge, and that was a lot of fun. There are a lot of really cool buildings there. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all we did leading up to going to the lake. Once we uh, got to my dad's friend's house, we ended up showing up a bit early. It was like 9.30 whenever we showed up to her house. Uh, you know, we talked for a little bit and met our dog Shadow. Shadow's so cute. I think I have a couple of pictures that I'll put either like up here or at the end of the video. <coughs> but, uh, no, anyway, I met her dog Shadow and we changed into our swimsuits because we decided we were just going to go straight to the lake. And, uh, we ended up, number one, trying to take a detour on the way to the lake. Number two, we had to stop and get some stuff for uh, like food, like snacks and drinks and stuff like that. And uh, then when we took our little detour, we ended up like sort of getting lost. And we got caught up in a whole bunch of stoplights and all that stuff. We were trying to avoid this like huge amount of traffic. And we ended up wasting about as much time getting there. So yeah, that was fun. But uh, yeah, so then we finally made it to the lake and uh, it was super nice on Saturday. Um, there wasn't, I mean, there were some clouds in the sky, but it wasn't like the next day when it was like raining and cloudy and like off and on drizzling. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it was, it was nice. And, uh, we, uh, finally got out to, uh, this like little swim hole they call it rattle, I think they call it, yeah, they call it Rattlesnake Cove. And uh, we got to swim around a bit. We got to, you know, I got to take some pictures uh, on my phone because I didn't take my camera on the boat the first day because I didn't know, like, what was going to happen. I didn't know, like, how bad the splashback was going to be or anything like that. And I was like, there is no way I'm taking a $2,000 camera on a boat if it's going to get soaked. But, you know, first day everything was fine. I you know, stayed completely dry except for, of course, my swimsuit and my towel. Uh... And I made sure the second day not to sit towards the back of the boat because uh, on Saturday I sat like in the very 
back on, I believe, the right hand side. No, it's the left hand side. I sat in the very back on the left hand side and I did get like a little bit of splash back. And so, you know, I, I said to myself, you know, it's like, you know, if you're going to take pictures, don't sit in the back of the boat. And I didn't. So that was, it, everything was fine. I ended up sitting uh, in the front of the boat on the next day so I could take pictures and everything. And, uh, you know, I made sure that I had my handy dandy little camera strap, uh, you know, around my neck. And I think I even put like one of my arms through it just so it was like really like attached to my body. Because I did not want to lose this camera. This camera was nice. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I was able to get some really good pictures, and we had so much fun. I got sunburned, and, oh, it was so relaxing. Now, uh, one of the, one of the great things about Squam Lake is that it's, you know, it's got super clear water. Super clear. It was up to my neck. And I was able to like just put my eyes like just above the water to where it was like right here. And I could see the bottom like com almost completely perfectly. I could see like the outline on my toe where my toenail was and everything. It was insanely clear. And surrounding it are a bunch of like mountains and stuff. Like I guess they're more like foothills but I think there are like a couple of mountains actually like around the lake. I don't know. It's strange but it was so pretty. And uh... <clears throat> so it, it was it, it was so nice yeah, it was so nice and we even got to pick some wild blueberries that were growing uh, on the little island at Rattlesnake Cove and uh, it was it was such a good time but uh, I guess I guess now I don't know but I guess that's Pretty much my weekend in a nutshell. Um, I will put the uh, the videos. Anyway, that was. Anyway, that was the end of my storytelling about my weekend. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, you know, do anything that you feel like you want to do. I'm also sorry that I haven't been posting so, you know, as often. I've been trying to get, like, everything, like, decent and something that I can actually continuously use instead of constantly having to readjust for every different video that I do. And I think I've actually got a pre pretty good setup going on. I've got a lamp on this side and a lamp on this side. And this one's a little bit more direct. That's why you can see a little bit more shadow coming off as opposed to this light. But I had it, you know, I have it angled up a little bit so it's not quite as like in my face. Because if I angle it properly, I mean it's bad. So, you know, I have it upturned and not quite like turned this way. It's more like this. It's a little like less on my face, I suppose you could say. So I think I might have actually found my setup and I've actually got some things to, you know, start putting out there, you know, more games, more, you know, music related content and things like that. So it's not just going to be me talking your ear off for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Yay! So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, give it, you know, uh, a bed. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to start posting more frequently. Um, I'm aiming to start like maybe two, three times a week, moving up to maybe every day or every other day or something like that. Um, but anyway, if you have any suggestions for what I should do next time, please leave them in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy the pictures. Okay. Where did my cell phone go? I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna get you on film saying that. <laughs> look, look, look. They're, my, they're, they're, they're sisters. Under <laughs> pressure. Under pressure. That doesn't do anything.
know you're recording. <laughs> Look, it's India. She's leaving us today because she sucks. We gotta go to college, man. Karma. You're really. This light is bothering ah. me. It's too boring. Ah! Hey! Why you do that? Because I love you. I love you. Oh, oh wait. Oh. <laughs> Heading the ball.